So first of all, I think Stuart was supposed to be the president. He's much more presidential than me. See him. Look at him. He's so president. But uh, I'm not as scary as Leo. <laughs> So it's not at the same time. Um, when I'm writing a show, I'm just writing the show. And then a month before we're starting to shoot, I'm, I'm having this ceremony that I'm going to the director and to the production. I'm saying, guys, from now on, I'm just an actor. I'm going to the director and I'm asking him, please, just direct me. Treat me like a, a, just an actor. And let's work together now as a team. And I'm going to my team, my actors, and we work together. And that's it. I'm leaving. I put it on the side. And then we'll finish, when we finish shooting, I'm starting again to be the creator and to go to the post-production and everything. But you have to separate it, if, uh, uh, otherwise it's, it's, it's too much. I think the music only works if it's in combination with a great story, great performance, great lighting, great everything. And there are many movies that I love where the music is really powerful, but I can't remember any of it. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And there's some scores like White Lotus where the music is a character. The music itself is telling you something very specific. But I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for the whole thing that really works together and the music plays a very helpful role. You cannot do shows for international or for local. It's, it's supposed to be a good, if you have a good story, it's a good story. If you have a good character, a great character, that they have their emotional journey, that they have a good relationships, that the story is good. Nowadays, we know and we understand. Fauda, for example, it's, it's a show, it's a global show. No, it's an Israeli show, but it's become global. So I think that you just need to concentrate in your good story. And if, it's, if it happens, it happens. They're very different. Writing a song, the artist pursues his vision. You have to find some chords. Oh, those are cool. You know, and then lyric, I love you, baby, uh, don't mean maybe, you know, it's, you follow your instinct. But in film, it's a much bigger concept. And the film composer is not an artist. He's a craftsman serving the artistic vision of the director. And the music has to be, it's not whatever you think of. It's specific right here. It needs to be happy, sad, and then develop into a sense of fear turning into doom. And because the music is more believable than the visuals. The, the music goes past your eyes, past your brain, to your heart, tells you how to feel. So this is a very different mission. The artist expresses himself, the film composer expresses himself. Not at all. We thought it was a story that we had to tell. We had to puke the story because yeah. it was about our life. And this is why we wrote it. In, in the beginning, nobody wanted it. The broadcasters didn't want it. So I thought that nobody will, will love the show. And if it, go, it goes out, just my family will watch the show. Yeah. And when it became global, it became huge. For me, it's like, it's, I, I'm full of surprise. It's all about dreams, you know? It's not about local or not local. Sometimes our dreams are very limited. My dreams were to succeed in Israel. That was my, my, my dream. I would never dream that I would sit here and talk to you guys and to sit with you when I admire you. And, and, and so you, we broke the ceiling of our dreams. Mm. So I think this is something that because of the new media and because of the new streamers, that can happen. And I think everyone should break his own dreams and try to find out a bigger dream than his own dreams. Absolutely, determination, desperation. Uh, in rock bands, you're very optimistic because the band, we're, we enable each other. We, we kick our ass, don't we? You know, mm -hmm. We blew us away. You know, we're really great, aren't we? Yeah, of course we are. And so every band thinks they're going to conquer the world. And, but it's desperate to get there. You claw your way up because that, that golden apple is right there. And it makes you fight harder. Yeah, I think for, for me, First of all, as an actor, it was it was very hard because all the time you get no's. So you have to have a, a, a strong personality and, and really to believe that one day it, it will happen. So you need to fight. You need to fight for, for everything. And if you are a good fighter and you don't see, and you see the no as the, as the next step of the, to the next yes, then you will succeed.